You opened the Red Sea because of undeserved favor. You delivered us out of undeserved favor. <laughs> you sweetened the bitter waters of Mara uh, and manna and all that. Dominion is your birthright in Christ, but obedience is your guarantee to actualize it. Your dominion in Christ is at the mercy of your obedience to God and His Word. Number one, this is the God kind of faith. And every believer already has a measure of it. Now number two, this measure of faith that the believer has can be increased. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. He can take everything that I've got. He can strip me of everything I've got. Leave in me but the clothing to cover my body. Before we can be responsible to Jesus, it must be because of our love for him. I, every time when I walk around the church structures, mostly what I get to see in Pentecostal Christians is desperation. Desperation has moved people to tithe, so these so-called seeds. Desperation has done great damage, but the biggest of all this damage is generalization of the word of God. Most are not standing out with their gifts in ministry because they want to move like Paul, Peter, Moses, Elijah, Bushiri, T.B. Joshua, Yubat Angel, Oyedepo, Joshua Iginla. I look hard enough, very few are really moving like their own hearts. This lifestyle of coping in the name of Papa and Mama imposes spiritual sanctions on your potential you will be limited in fulfilling your potential when all that people see as they look at you is another man or another woman not you no biblical character looked at another biblical character that came before them to determine their life's purpose joseph didn't look at jacob Elijah didn't look at Moses, Samson didn't look at Joshua, Daniel didn't look at Jeremiah, Jesus didn't look at John the Baptist, Paul didn't look at Peter. No biblical character looked at another biblical character in the past to determine their purpose. That's why you see that there is no spiritual sanctions on their abilities. They each flowed uniquely. Right from the start, I was determined never to imitate man. Just that the thing of imitating man never appeals to me. In labors of life, yes, but not the work of God, not the purpose of God. Purpose is an arena of unprecedented creativity. Whatever is to be created within purpose should be a new thing, never before performed in mankind's history. Ephesians 5 verse 1 is the price I paid. Ephesians 5 verse 1 is the price I paid. The price to be an imitator of God. To prophesy as God would have me, not as Papa or Mama would have me. To reveal purposes secrets, mysteries, desires of God as Elohim himself would have me, not as Papa or Mama would have me. I am original. Joseph Prince, even though he knows many topics in the Bible, it's grace, 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 grace. You hear him talk about all the time. David Oyedepo, despite knowing many topics in the Bible, it's dominion, dominion. You hear him talk about all the time. T.B. Joshua, despite knowing many topics on miracles, deliverance, the one topic you come back to attend to all time is love, love. There is many of them I would mention. Clarence M.R. even in knowing many topics. All you hear is this Zambian boy talking about purpose, purpose, purpose. Sometimes I may talk about other stuff. It's just to balance the diet for you people. I look 
at the biblical characters and only identify with peoples. T.B. Joshua looks at the biblical characters and only identifies love. Joseph Prince looks at the biblical characters and only identifies grace. Bishop Oyedepo looks at the biblical characters and only identifies dominion. By following the things they've been sent to attend to, they are imitating God. They are where they are because they paid the price for the specified knowledge they revealed to people. The price they paid is Ephesians 5 verse 1. You cannot master every topic in the Bible. So therefore, when you open it to read it, it's best that you familiarize yourself with those books and chapters that are highlighted the virtue that censors your purpose. Not that you should not study some other topics, but I would not advise you to be jack of all topics, but demonstrator of none.